Lesson 7.7, .7, Word Problem Solving Money. When solving problems about money, it can help us to act it out. Then we can count on to find the total value. We can act out a money problem by making a quick drawing of the dollar bills and the coins. We can make a rectangle and write one dollar inside. We can make a circle and write 25 for a 25 cent quarter or a 10 for a dime. We have one dollar, 25 cents, and 10 more is one dollar and 35 cents. We can draw two one dollar bills for two dollars. And this would be 10 and five is 15 and one more is 16. So this would be two dollars and 16 cents. We can also act out a money problem by using play money. Sarah has three one dollar bills, one dime, and four pennies in her pocket. How much money does Sarah have in her pocket? We think we can make a quick drawing, then count to find the total value. We draw the dollar bills first. We draw the greatest values first. So, it says she has three $1 bills, so we can make three rectangles. We can write a $1 in each one. She has one dime, so we can make a circle and put 10 inside. And she has four pennies, so we can draw one, two, three, four, and put a one inside of each one for the four pennies. Then we can count them. We have three dollars, three dollars ten cents, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen cents. We remember to write the dollar sign first. We write a three for the three dollars and then a decimal point. Then we write the fourteen cents. Three dollars and fourteen cents is what she has in her pocket. Bob used three quarters, one dime, and two one dollar bills to buy a pencil case. The pencil case costs one dollar and thirty-five cents. How much money does Bob have left? And we think we can draw the money he had, then cross out one dollar thirty-five cents. Then we can count what was not crossed out to know what he had left over. We start by drawing the greater values first, so that would be two one dollar bills. So we're going to make two rectangles. So we got two of them. Quarters are the next greatest, so there's three quarters. We make three circles and write 25 inside of each one. And one dime. Now the pencil case costs one dollar thirty-five cents. So we can cross off one dollar and we can cross off thirty-five cents. Twenty-five, thirty-five. We can cross off this quarter and this dime. Now we can count what was not crossed off. One dollar and two quarters, two quarters would be fifty cents. That means he had left over one dollar. We write the decimal point, 50 cents. We drew all the money that it said and crossed off how much he spent. And then we counted what was left over. So we draw and count the money from greatest value to least value. Here it says two nickels, two quarters, four $1 bills. We know the $1 bills are the greatest value, so we're gonna draw those first. We can make four rectangles. And if we know they're all dollar bills, we could just write a one inside. You can put the dollar sign if it helps you. The next greatest value would be quarters. They're greater than nickels, so we need to draw two quarters. We can put 25 inside so we remember that they're the quarters. Then two nickels. Those are five cents each. 
Now we can count them. We have four $1 bills, which is $4. We remember to write our dollar sign, our decimal point to separate the dollars from the cents. Two quarters, that would be 50 cents, and five and five is 10, so we have 50 cents and 10 more. That would be 60 cents. It's $4.60. So even if it's written like this, where the dollars are back here, you know that dollars are more than quarters and quarters are more than nickels. So we draw the greater one first and we have to put them in order. Tala has two quarters, four dimes, two nickels, and 16 pennies. How much more money does she need to buy a muffin that costs one dollar and twenty cents. So we think first we need to find out how much money she has. Then we can count on to find how much more she needs. We look at the amounts and see that they're already in greatest to least order. Quarters are the greatest, then dimes, then nickels, then pennies. So we don't need to put them in order. We can draw two quarters. Write a 25 inside so we know that those are the quarters. Four dimes. Put a 10 inside so we know that their value is 10 each. Two nickels. Put a 5 inside because those are the nickels. And 16 pennies. We can draw 16 circles and put a 1 inside or we can just write 16 cents to save time. That would be a 10 cents plus a six cents, wouldn't it? So if we're counting these, we can count to 10 and then count to six. 25 and 25, that makes 50 cents. 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents. So now with all of these, we're at 90 cents. We have five and five is 10. That's a 10. 90 and 10, that makes a dollar. That means all of these coins make one dollar. And then she's got 16 cents. She has one dollar, 16 cents, and she needs one dollar and 20 cents to buy the muffin. And we can count on 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That would be four more cents. So the question is, how much more money does she need to buy a muffin that costs a dollar twenty cents? She needs four cents. And we can also write the four cents as a dollar sign, a zero, a decimal point, a zero, and a four. But it might be quicker to write it like that. This one says, Dave used five quarters, one dime, two nickels, and seven pennies to buy his mother a flower. How much money did Dave use to buy the flower? Draw to show how you solved the problem. Well, we could draw these coins and add them up. We have five quarters, one, two, three, four, five. We can write 25 inside of each one so we know these are quarters. One dime, that's a 10. Two nickels, those are fives. And seven pennies, we need to draw seven pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put a one inside of each one for seven pennies. Now we can count them. And right away, I see one, two, three, four quarters makes one dollar. So we have one dollar right here. Then we have, for cents, we have 25 and 10 is 35. And two fives make a 10. So we have 25, 35, 45. So all of these together are 45 cents. Then we have the penny. So we're at 45 cents. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. 
It's one dollar and fifty two cents. We start by drawing the greater value ones and we see if we can make a dollar. Then we count on. Be careful counting the money. Make sure to count all the bills and coins. You don't want to forget any. You could end up with the wrong amount. Our next lesson, 7.8, is not about money. It's about telling time. We're going to learn about time to the hour and half hour. I hope you'll join me and I hope you're doing well. Bye.